Hi guys, this is Tobias Hobie, and today... Today, do you like things that go boom in the night? Heck, do you like things that go boom in the daytime? And this video is for you, my little pyromaniacs. <laughs> That's because we'll be going through the new foundation that makes the best sleep bombing sets in Iceborne possible, the Clockwork Armor. So what exactly is the Clockwork Armor? Well, it's this beautiful ensemble of cloth and metal that actually has steam pipes attached to it. Seriously. It has steam shooting out of pipes on your shoulders. Talk about giving new meaning to the term steampunk. It's just one of the many reasons why I love this armor set. Now don't let its pinky raising prim and proper appearance fool you either. This set lets you sip your tea, do a curtsy, then throw civility out of the window by blasting off monsters to oblivion. That twinkle you see in the distance? That, by the way, is Team Rocket blasting off again. <laughs> now, to understand the beauty of this set, you'll first need to be acquainted with the Bombardier skill. That's the skill that lets you increase the damage of your bombs by a certain percentage. That would be 10% for level 1, 20% for level 2, and 30% for level 3. To demonstrate, let's test some Mega Barrel Bombs at the good old dummy post at the training area. Now normally, level 3 is where you stop, since that is the normal maximum level for a bombardier. That is, until the Clockwork Armor set. That's because the armor comes with a set bonus called Commission Alchemy, which grants bombardier secret. What's this secret, you ask? I can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you! Nah, just kidding. <laughs> that would actually be adding two more levels to the bombardier skill, with level 4 raising your damage by 40%, and level 5 raising bomb damage by an extra... 50%. Let's go demonstrate via the dummy post again. Now the good news is that you can even do more damage on an actual monster than what you get on the training area post. Here's footage of me and my hunting partners setting down bombs during our Barrioth hunt as part of the media preview that I took part in at Capcom's San Francisco office some time ago. So as you can see in Master Rank, regular Mega Barrel Bomb damage is now at 225. With the Bombardier level 5 skill adding 50% bombing damage however, just multiply 225 by 1.5 and you're now looking at 338 damage for a Mega Barrel Bomb. But wait, it gets better. Remember what happens when a monster goes to sleep? Yep, the first hit that wakes up a sleeping monster does double damage. You can say that this is the key principle behind the activity known as sleep bombing in the Monster Hunter series. Needless to say, you already know what happens next. That's right, the first Mega Barrel Bomb now does 675 damage, providing you with 1013 total damage when the second Mega Barrel Bomb is added. I had a couple of Pialtov cocktails when using that Palico gadget, plus some Wyvern Blast mines. And now you're talking about massive, giant, enemy crab levels of damage. Damage that's historically accurate, mind you. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm using the Nightshade Paolum Light Bogan here, pretty much as my tool for making monsters go betty by. But feel free to use whatever weapon you're most comfortable with. At least whatever sleep weapon you like. Also, make sure to set up your radial wheel to mix all items in just one click, so you can get your bombs and ammo mixed faster mid-hunt. Now the one thing that you need to remember with sleep bombing is that you have to make sure that one of the bombs actually inflicts the first hit on the monster. It's possible, for example, for your bowgun, bow, or slinger ammo to actually trigger the first hit if it grazes the monster, at least in that split second before the bomb explodes. As such, try to set your bombs just a teensy bit away from the monster's head, and then aim your ammo just to the side of that so you don't hit the sleeping monster with it by accident. The best part? You only need three pieces of the clockwork set to get the bombardier secret bonus. That means you can further fine-tune your sleep bombing set with other armored pieces. In fact, I'll be showing one such set in another video, which I use to take down Savage Devil Joe. Ooh yeah! Snap into a Slim Jim! So how do you get the clockwork armor? 
Well, the key material is known as a Steam Ticket, which you can get as a reward while doing the Steamworks minigame. It's basically one of the potential prizes you can get when you get three check marks by correctly guessing the button combination for one cycle. Yeah, so just head over to the Steamworks, get your Steam Tickets, and voila! Clockwork Armor Set. So, what do you guys think of the new Clockwork Armor? As always, please feel free to leave your thoughts or questions in the comment section. Once again, this is Sabi Asobi, and thank you for watching. In the meantime, here's a look at how many bombing cycles it took me to take down a Master Rank Dodogama. I know, it's cute, I know, I'm sorry. Note that I ate for Feline Pyro, which automatically turns my large barrel bombs to mega barrel bombs. Work faster, you slack tots! Uh.